Hello, and welcome to the SCP Versus series. Today, I wanted to do something, again, a little... Every time I come on here, I say I'm going to do something a little different, as though that's somehow news to you people. <laughs> uh, today, I wanted to do something that was a little different. It's, uh, S it's basically God versus God, but in a way... I didn't like the idea of, like, what was I going to do with God versus God? I was just going to have... Essentially, it's SCP-343 versus SCP-2343. And in the sense that God versus God it seems like it could become very boring very quickly. And then I thought about how would that battle work? Like, you could have grand, like, magical battles where someone's throwing lightning at one another, or you could just have something a little bit more subdued. So let's see if I manage to hit the mark. Let's go ahead and get into SCP-343 versus SCP-2343. In the beginning, they created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form. After that, well, all hell broke loose. It started innocently enough, a man and a woman in love, a temptation, some fruit, and then knowledge. But then they got kicked out of the Garden of Eden. And that's not the end of their story. They forged ahead. They created a life for themselves, a good life. They had children. The first one they called Abel. And then they had many, many, many more. One of those was called Cain. Abel was the favorite. And Cain didn't like that. So the first piece was removed from the board. It was a small crime in the grand scheme of things, but happening so early it shaped everything that was to come. The children spread out into the world. Mankind lived a harsh and a brutal life, moving from one hunting spot to the next, gathering what they could so they wouldn't starve to death in the cold. And then someone realized you could plant your own crops, and land became valuable. People, though, became hardened to the plight of those who didn't have any food or any land. Kings ruled over mankind, and emperors ruled over kings. The first empires arose, the Greeks, the Egyptians, the Hittites, the Assyrians. They traded amongst themselves bronze and weapons and tools and they warred from time to time, but nothing they ever did upset the balance of power. Until one day, a force of unimaginable power swept in from the sea, and everyone felt their wrath, and then the age ended, like it began, in blood and madness. After that, the moves were reactionary. An empire rises here, and then it falls. A kingdom finds its way, but then it disappears. Over and over, in a forever cycle of... Wait, who's this? Alexander the Great? What a pompous name. But he built the largest empire the world had ever seen. And then he died, like all men do. And the empire fell apart. Soon, though, two great empires rose. One in the west and one in the east. The Romans unified most of the continent. And while China could never quite find a way to unify itself for any significant length of time, both were very powerful influential, and both lasted, ultimately, quite a while. Religions rose as well. Now, belief had always been a powerful tool, and religion had always existed, but these were different. The players making the moves now knew how to use this religion to get what they wanted. It was more permanent. These religions permeated all, and they were a mistake. But still, these great empires fell. Because there was nothing that could be done about that. They were created by men. And what rose in their place was poised to grow immeasurably, but then Genghis Khan came along to change everything all over again. A single piece, which was capable of unimaginable amounts of destruction and of creation. And that piece took almost all of Asia, but then Asia took him. He died, and the empire fell, and... That was that. An unprecedented era of darkness arose, like a specter around the entire world, 
And out of that darkness came a disease that left a third of humanity coughing and bleeding and crying and dying. But still the game continued. It took a while, but the light soon returned to the world. And in a few more centuries, someone learned that you could use steam to do work. A lot of work. All of the work. But as always, a discovery like that doesn't make things better for anyone who doesn't control it. It just makes those in power more powerful. After a time, the steam led to electricity, and thus began the modern age, and the end of the game approached. Mankind had no way to know that the players were making their final moves, of course. They just went on about their lives. The Great War came and went, and mankind promised never again. But then the next war came and went, worse than anything that had ever come before. And again, they promised never again. But then more wars came. There were always more wars. Finally, weaved into the fabric of it all, a group was created meant to protect humanity from itself and from the unknown. The more we knew, the more we explored, the more questions we answered, the more science attempted to understand the world, the more the players would subvert that knowledge. Finally, the gambits upon gambits upon gambits came to a head, and the end of the game showed itself. Neither player could ever win. That was always true. And they could continue the stalemate for as long as they wanted, but at this point, the game was over. So, SCP-343 rose from his seat and extended his hand. SCP-2343 nodded and stood, shaking the hand. Good game, 343 said. SCP-2343 looked down at the board. Why don't we keep doing this? 343 shrugged. Competition is good for the soul. SCP-2343 smirked. We're playing against ourselves. There's never gonna be a winner. I know hypocrisy is sort of our thing, but you know you married one of us, right? Well, that's fair. I'm gonna get back to the cell before they notice I'm gone. And then God went their separate ways. And that's that. I feel sort of comfortable with how this came out. I don't know. You guys can let me know in the comments down below if you thought it was an interesting battle and what you'd like to see next. In fact, that's very important. I think maybe I'm done with SCP-343 battles for a while. So go ahead and give me suggestions for SCPs versus other SCPs or staff members versus other staff members or staff members versus SCPs. It's entirely up to you. You offer me suggestions, I'll look through them, and hopefully one of them will be good enough for me to actually be able to use. Or inspirational, we'll say. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching and listening. If you like the content, scroll down and hit the subscribe button. Then, hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified immediately when I upload a new video. It's very important that you subscribe. It, well, means something to me personally, but it also means something to the algorithm, so... Definitely hit the subscribe button if you possibly can. And if you really want to support this content, including the Versus series, the You're Wrong Abouts, writing advice, or even the r slash dank memes videos, you should head on over to patreon.com forward slash dsumerian. There's a link in the description. There'll be a link in the pinned comment on this video. And pledge at any level, like Kate Life did. Kate Life is one of my newest pledges at $20. I'd like to thank them. I'd like to thank everyone else on the screen right now for continuing to be patrons and letting me know that I'm not alone out here. I'll see you all again on Tuesday.